three, two, three, two, three, one, three, two, three. On the A7, same thing, but now we have an A string bass. Hey everybody, Gary here with Guitar Tricks, and in this lesson we're gonna go over using thumb picks. So why might you wanna use one of these? What are the advantages, disadvantages? What's the difference between the many different types of thumb picks that are out there? And then I'm gonna show you a couple of playing examples to get you started using thumb picks. Before we get into it, please go ahead and click subscribe so that you get all of the latest and greatest content from Guitar Tricks. All right, let's get into it. So what's great about using a thumb pick is that it gives you a sharp, percussive, loud sound from the bass notes or the lower notes of the guitar. So here's my open E string with a thumb pick. And here it is without, with just flesh, right? So it's much softer, maybe a little more boomy with the flesh than with the thumb pick. Now classical musicians have a technique that's more like this and they grow their nail out, but they keep their hand out more and they manage to use their thumbnail to hit the bass note. But in folk music and more acoustic music, a lot of times the hand is kept more against the strings and it's impossible to use the nail if your hand is against the strings, right? Because in order to use the thumbnail, you have to come out more but when you're staying parallel, this allows you to have that pick come right out of the side of your thumb and still get a sharp sound like you would get with your nail. Now it also creates a more balanced sound if you've got fingernails like I do. So if I just play a regular Travis picking pattern on a D chord, you could hear how the notes are much better balanced, right? As opposed to this. When I do it that way, the notes I play with the thumb are not very well balanced at all. So this gives me a more balanced sound. Where all the notes are being plucked, whether by nail or by pick. So that's one thing that it's good for. It's also going to make you play faster because the, the string is going to come off of a nail or a pick faster than it would off of the flesh of your thumb, right? So if I was playing something kind of fast. Now it also allows me to play with less effort, like just a little bit from the thumb, tiny little movement gives me a nice solid sound. Whereas again with the flesh, if I use the same amount of force, you might even not be able to hear that. So same amount of force with the pick. And the key to playing fast is using minimal effort. So when I'm doing that fast thing, you know, I'm barely moving my fingers. It's just a very little amount of effort between the nail and the thumb pick. Now it's also popular in the blues to keep a constant thud, and you could kind of palm mute if you want by putting your palm right where the strings meet the bridge and then getting this thud sound and keeping that constant quarter note thud on the, on the bass note. So here's an awesome pattern. I'm gonna show it to you on an E7, an A7, and a B7, and you could put those three together to play a 12 bar blues. So on the E7, we can go. So we're keeping that constant quarter note in the low E string and then as far as the other strings, we're going two, three, one, three, two, three, two, three, one, three, two, three. On the A7, same thing, but now we have an A string bass, fifth string bass, and we go two, three, one, three, two, three, two, three, one, three, two, three. And then on a B7, same as the A7, Now I'm using fingers one and two interchangeably here. You could do it all with one. Whatever you find easier. Sometimes I also like to hit more than one string like this. Gives it more of a chord sound. And you could use that to go through the whole 12 bar blues. I'll just demonstrate.
for some reason on that B7, I wanted to hear this note as the first note, so I changed the order. I went something like that. But that just speaks to the fact that you don't want to always do everything exactly the same and follow that pattern because it's going to feel really robotic. You want to feel free to alternate the order of the strings, maybe sometimes do the know really kind of up strum that whole chord so you can do something like just you know kind of change it up so as far as buying thumb picks the thing is you want it to fit comfortably on your thumb to where it feels tight but it doesn't cut off the circulation because if it cuts off the circulation you're going to be trying to play with a numb finger and that's not going to work so I had to buy a few different brands before I settled in on a Fred Kelly large size for me, that's what worked. The other thing is the amount of pick that comes out of the thumb varies. This one's somewhere in the middle. I've seen them very small and I've seen them very long. This Fred Kelly one's a little more in the middle. They also make thumb picks that look like a regular teardrop guitar pick that comes out and that one I've met people that like it because they use it also for strumming. Now, in general, thumb picks sound better when they're a little stiffer. Like this one is, is definitely very stiff, so it gives a nice, strong, percussive sound. But the downside of that is there's no flexibility for strumming, really. Like I don't really like to strum very much with this pick, but sometimes what I do is I just slide it off a little. And then it's like a pick because now it's no longer on my thumb and I could even pick with it a little bit like it's a pick and then just boom slide it back on and sometimes I just leave it on and pick so really it's all about experimenting buy or try out a few different ones at your local music store and see what works for you. All right, everybody, I hope this lesson was helpful for you. I don't know about you, but I have a great time just experimenting with different techniques, trying out all these different ways to play guitar. So even if you're not looking to become a thumb picker, it's another skill to try out and put in your toolbox. All right, everybody, if you wanna learn more about this stuff, head over to guitartricks.com. If you wanna see more lessons like this, please subscribe. Happy playing, and I'll see you in the next lesson.